Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the brand new HP Omen. This laptop features the latest Pascal GPUs and you also get the option of an AMD GPU. You also get an all new design that looks very slick. Let's find out and see if it's worth picking up. Let's go and break down the specs and get them out of the way. This one features the Intel Core i7-7700HQ, 8GB of DDR4, GTX 1050 Ti, 15.6 inch Full HD IPS with 120Hz, a 256 NVMe SSD, and the retail price of this custom configured model is $1329 while the base model starts at a grand. This year's HP Omen looks so much better than the last generation. You got this two-tone finish towards the top, which is made out of all plastic, and then you got your HP Omen logo towards the bottom. Here goes a quick view of the bottom panel. It's also made out of plastic. You got your two speakers towards the bottom, intake vents, and take a look at all these sharp looking edges. Woo! This laptop looks like it's from the future. It's a great looking laptop by HP. Let's take a look at the internal components here. You got your 70 watt hour battery pack, traditional hard drive here, you got that cool HP Omen logo cover. Realtek 802.11 AC wireless adapter with Bluetooth 4.1. You got your two fan setup, two RAM slots. This one is occupied with one 8GB stick and your PCIe SSD drive. And to top it off, the interior of this HP Omen laptop looks gorgeous. You got this brushed aluminum palm rest and the weight is pretty reasonable coming in at 5.66 pounds and about an inch thick. In terms of design, HP really knocked out of the park with the new Omen. It's just a whole different beast compared to the last generation. And if you don't think so, take a look at these exhaust vents towards the back. These look like they came straight out of a Lamborghini Aventador. This thing is badass. On the left side for your ports, you got your security lock slot, mini display port, full size HDMI, gigabit ethernet, USB 3, USB type C, headset jack, and your microphone input. If you need Thunderbolt 3 support, you'll have to pay additional $20 more and it'll get you a full HD webcam. On the right side, you got your SD card reader, hard drive status indicator, two USB 3s, and your charging port. There is some medium display flex, especially towards the middle, but it's not to the point where I'm going to be super concerned about it. And in terms of keyboard flex, there's hardly any. The chassis on the HP Omen does a great job. This is a 15-inch laptop with three different panel configurations. The base model comes with a Full HD IPS anti-glare, and the second upgrade, which is the model I have for $60 more, you can get a Full HD 120Hz IPS anti-glare. And last but not least, for $260 more, you can get a 4K IPS anti-glare. The color accuracy was surprisingly very good. I got 98% of sRGB and 76% of Adobe RGB. For $60 more over the base model, the second tier upgrade is definitely worth the money. You get the 120Hz screen, which makes a big difference in games. A pretty good color accurate panel, especially at this price range. Pretty good brightness overall coming at 275 nits. And to top it off, this IPS panel offers great viewing angles. This Symnathic's base trackpad is kind of small, however you do get two physical buttons. Tracking, two finger scrolling, and multi-touch was all on target. Overall, it's a solid trackpad. You're going to get a standard full-size keyboard with a 10-key numeric keypad. The keys do feel kind of small compared to most gaming laptops this size, but I did get adjusted fairly quick and I was back up to full speed. The key trial was adequate and the feedback from these keys offer pretty good performance. You also get the red WSD keys which look pretty cool in my opinion. You do get a red backlit keyboard with the exception of the WASD keys. You can activate all the LEDs at once or just leave the WASD keys running. Battery pack's pretty big. It's a 4 cell 70 watt hour battery pack and with casual light duty usage I'm getting around 5.5 to 6.5 hours with medium screen brightness. If you plan on gaming on the battery you can expect around an hour and a half. The Intel Core i7-77HQ is a quad core cable light chip that offers good strong performance. There are multiple GPU options to choose from. The base model comes with an AMD Radeon RX 550. Then you get an option of GTX 1050 with 2GB or 4GB of GDDR5, followed by GTX 1050 Ti with 4GB of GDDR5, and then you finally have the GTX 1060 Max-Q version, which is currently not available in the US store at the moment. I'll keep you guys updated. The mid-level GTX 1050 offers good performance, but for my money I'll definitely recommend the GTX 1050 Ti. It just offers much better performance. Games like Overwatch run smoothly at 1920 by 1080p on high settings and get approximately around 90 to 100 frames per second. Heavy duty games like Battlefield 4 would tend to hover around 70 to 80 frames per second at 1080p on ultra settings. Overall, the GTX 1050 Ti is a great entry level GPU that offers great bang for your buck. With that being said, I still would have preferred the Max Q version of a GTX 1060. That one would have yielded much better performance. Even while playing games for an hour and a half, this GPU remained pretty cool running at around 67 to 71 degrees Celsius. Even the exterior temperatures were pretty good. Overall, the GTX 1050 Ti and the new HP Omen 15 does a great job and is very efficient. On idle, the fans will tend to run at around 36 decibels, and if you're playing games, you can reach around 43 to 45 decibels. The Omen Command Center seems like it's missing a very critical feature. There's no sort of any kind of fan control here. 
There are two speakers powered by Bang & Olufsen, and at a first glance you would think they'll be right here by the logo, but in fact they're down firing towards the front. I was very disappointed in HP for not putting them right here, it's just a waste of space and design. The sound quality is good, the mids and highs are pretty balanced, but the lows are kinda lacking, especially with the missing subwoofer. This is how the webcam looks on HP Omen 2017 edition, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Alright, so for mid-2017, HP decides to completely revamp their Omen lineup, and the design and build quality is definitely a step in the right direction. The 120Hz 1080p panel has great color accuracy, good viewing angles, and best of all, the response time is pretty noticeable. The speakers are downfiring, which is a bit disappointing as there is space towards the top that could have been utilized. Thunderbolt 3 is available with a $20 Full HD webcam upgrade. This laptop is pretty easy to upgrade your components. I mean, it's not super easy like the Inspiron 7567 but simply remove 10 Phillips screws and you'll have access to the two RAM slots which can expand to 32 gigs. The 4 cell 70 watt hour battery pack can get you approximately anywhere from 5.5 to 6.5 hours and about an hour and 30 minutes of gameplay. The Core i7-7700 HQ offers great performance and the GTX 1050 Ti can get you up and running with many of today's games at 1920 x 1080p on medium to high settings. Alright guys, this is about wrapping my full review on the 2017 HP Omen 15. I want to know what you guys think about this laptop. Do you plan on getting one? Do you think it's reasonably priced? Or do you plan on getting something more expensive or cheaper? Let me know in the comments down below as I'm very curious. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.